Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll create a Azure SQL database and we'll connect and we'll use the Spring Boot CRUD operation or application over there. So let's get started. So first of all, I'll just be in Azure portal and I'll just simply search for Azure SQL database and click on create. And here I will just uh, try to fill up the form. So first of all, uh, simply create a new resource group RG SQL DB and enter database name. So simply I would say customer DB and SQL server currently I do not have. So let's create a new one and this should be unique. So any name that which is unique, I'm just simply say sim two or one, right? And I'll use this SQL authentication for the simplicity and demo. And here I will just simply say SQL admin or any other username that you can try admin login or uh, simply say admin admin one two three. Okay, fine. Uh, SQL admin again and say admin one two three is password. Okay, it's asking your password must contain the character. Okay. Two, three. Should be okay. All right. Uh, so admin one, two, three, a capital that I put as a password and click on okay. We'll be going back to the SQL database and here I can choose uh, PMTM001 that is a server and uh, don't choose uh, this uh, if you are only for the demo purpose you choose the development because there will be a huge price otherwise you'll have to pay so if you keep in a development it will be a pretty less price for learning purpose this is in um, almost 400 INR so almost five dollar and then after um, completing the demo you can delete all resources all right, so I'll just go with the review and create and just click on this create. So this may take a little while. I'll pause the video. Once the database is created, go to the resource and click on this uh, query editor. We'll create a table. So here you can put a password. Uh, let's try to go for a server first and SQL server and here there must be a networking part and here um, instead of disable just try uh, select a network and this is my personal um, IP address I can verify this uh, get my IP just search for that and you'll get this IP address. So here the same IP address, add your client and just save it. So only you can connect or whichever IP address that you want so that accidentally does not, uh, cannot be connected from outside. So now again, let's go to this SQL database and I just go for this query editor and again try with the password click on ok and your query editor will be there so we'll just simply create a table over here the table would be like this so we have a customer ID first name last name email and phone number and I'll try to run the query success and I'll insert five different statement insert statement uh, simply they are sample one and I'll Query success and just I will try select star from customers and run it. So we got all the file statement. Now uh, we will try on a um, Spring Boot application. So I'll just go with the start of Spring Boot IO and click on Maven and I'll just simply SQL Server demo add dependency. 
and I'll just say web I'll also add a JPA because I want to connect to database and let's generate I'll go to this uh, folder I'll just copy it and put it stamp variable or in any other database or folder that you are working on so I'll just simply say that work spring boot and here just paste it extract it and open into IntelliJ IDEA just open and say ok trust this project new window and your project would be ready simply try and test whether the project is working then after we will start configuring the SQL Server database ok so <clears throat> This is regarding the server attributes, so that we'll put over here. So, Spring dot data source dot SQL server. This is a custom that you can try uh, rather than going with the. Okay, uh, and then we'll do these changes, and then our username is SQL admin, and here our database is customer DB. And password is admin admin123 a capital and this driver class name is this one. All right, uh, now we want this JDBC URL, right? So, what we can do is just go to the Azure portal and um, go to the customer db or i would say sql server and here or in case of SQL uh, here you can see the connection streak on the left side panel and click on JDBC and just click till here and paste it into here okay so you have um, URL and then port and the database the customer DB okay and this is everything fine now let us uh, um, create a new package called config and I'll simply um, create a new class called app config right and here I'll just make it as a configuration and then um, I'll just create a bean and then uh, configuration properties right and then uh, public data source SQL DB all right now I will create a model package uh, for representing uh, customer so we have a customer class which is equivalent to or corresponding columns uh, to this uh, the property of this class All right and now I will create a package called DAO and here I just name as customer DAO simply say component 
and I'll make an auto wire data source because we have only one data source so you can directly do an um, data source customer data source okay and then we have a JDB we required a JDBC template okay and now get all the customer okay, simple select start from customer we have a row mapper this is a row mapper function interface we can see it by just putting an app3 and here if we go we have a row mapper and it's a functional interface and has um, two parameters result sets and the row num all right so we have this uh, and we can have this service package Uh, customer service and simply say service and get all the customer but before that we need to auto wire um, customer tau Do we have customer DAO? Yes. It's a component. It should be here. Custom DAO, yeah. So now let us try again. <coughs> um, get all customers. Okay. So it will return the list of customer. So we can uh, customer by ID. Then we have all the other methods are there. Add customer, delete customer there. So now let's add all this uh, method over here. Customer ID. Okay. So this is a method called customer by ID. Then we have an add customer. And then we have date customer. We have delete customer. I'm using the GitHub Copilot, so it's pretty easy. I mean, it's very understandable that we have at the time of the adding the customer, you have an insert statement. At the time of the update customer, you have an update statement, and you are passing customer as well. And then you are for the delete, you just need an ID, and you just pass an ID. All right. It's simple again. Now all the errors gone in the service class. Now let's try to create a controller. So I'm just creating a controller package and simply say customer controller and here just put a rest controller and um, we need an auto wire so customer service so get all customers now get mapping all the customers simple get customer by id you are passing the id but here you just need to provide this path name path variable okay t now uh, add customer is post mapping and here you have because it's a request body right and here you can see at the red request body and then um update customer for a put mapping you have the same request body and you have then delete customer all right um simply yeah it is look okay now let us try to run the application and see whether we are getting any sort of an error or not. Okay, so we are getting, okay. Driver class name, what is the problem with it? Oh, okay, we need, um, 
JDBC driver for my uh, SQL server so we can here we can ask download the JDBC driver from server in Azure you can click over here and you will get some Maven um, should be Maven over here you see in the getting started or code sample okay or you can click on this download and again if you go down then you'll get this um, Maven uh, JDBC driver and I'll just copy over here in a palm simply and now let us try to rerun the application looks okay now let's go to this uh, local host 8080 and customers and all the customers are there now let us add um, a swagger uh, spring boot or, or open api so we can see this open api 3 library if you go down and just click this thing copy this uh, part open api starter web mc put into um, here in POM Maven refresh restart the application all right so look working so now I'll just go with this uh, local 8080 and swagger UI and our swagger UI is there okay so we have customers so we already um, seen this customer so let's try it out and get all the customers all the customers are there okay and now cancel this and then go with the customer id so try it out and i'll just interested in say for example second number third number customer and we got the customer id with the third one all right you can try the same uh, for all the update delete and uh, 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 the rest of the uh, or you can play with all this URL or REST API and it should work don't worry about it all right so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video